On March 31st, the first round of presidential elections in Ukraine will be held. A second round of elections is scheduled for April 21st. This second round is very likely going to happen, as the probability of a single candidate achieving 50% of the popular vote in the first round is very low. Ukraine's presidential election will be a close race this year, and it is difficult to predict who will win and become president. Furthermore, the specter of election meddling is ever-present. For these reasons, it is vital to ensure the integrity of the election process. Thus, the Ukrainian World Congress has launched an international observation mission to Ukraine's 2019 elections. Recently, I had the pleasure of speaking with the head of this mission, Eugene Choli. Eugene is the immediate past president of the Ukrainian World Congress. Hello, Eugene. How are you? Very good. Yourself? <laughs> Very good. Thank you. It's a bright, sunny day here. I see it is there as well. A uh, sunny day, as you can see <laughs> in the back of my window, too. <laughs> Um, as I understand, the elections monitoring mission of the Ukrainian World Congress has a number of special features. I wonder if you might tell us about them? Uh, the Ukrainian World Congress, as you know, has been monitoring and observing uh, presidential parliamentary elections since Ukraine's independence. So we have a long history in, in doing that. Uh, the current mission has uh, various features, as you've said, that makes us a bit different from others. Uh, for one, we do, as uh, other missions will be doing, we will be uh, sending over 155 uh, short-term observers that will be uh, observing uh, the electoral process uh, during the election day and around uh, the election day uh, to ensure that the elections are democratic, that the, the elections comply with Ukraine's legislation and Ukraine's commitments uh, to the international uh, community. Uh, when I say 155, I should add that uh, in, to our mission uh, is working in tandem with a mission of our member organization, uh, that is the Ukrainian Congress Committee of America, uh, that will be deploying about 75 short-term observers. So we will have on election day about 225 plus uh, short-term observers serving that uh, aspect of, of, our, of our mandate. Uh, the uh, various uh, so-called special features that you were asking me about is uh, we, we are currently deploying already over a hundred long-term observers uh, that uh, are essentially monitoring and observing uh, the uh, social media and uh, uh, journals uh, media in various countries in the world in order to verify to what extent there is foreign interference in Ukraine's election and to what extent uh, other countries uh, are uh, uh, using this period in, in order to uh, uh, move a different agenda, uh, knowing f uh, very well that Ukraine will be concentrated on the elections. In other words, whether we will have countries that will try to discredit the electoral process as a whole or uh, what we have seen in the past, uh, whether uh, the Russian Federation will continue with its hybrid uh, warfare, to, uh, which includes uh, uh, various forms of disinformation to present Ukraine as a failed state. So we have over 100 uh, long-term observers that have uh, uh, gone through uh, an online training by experts on how to do media uh, monitoring, and they are currently monitoring uh, this process. We also uh, in view of the fact that we're obviously conscious that this uh, election is uh, coming uh, ongoing uh, while uh, there is Russian aggression in eastern Ukraine and illegal occupation of Crimea, so obviously very challenging uh, 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 moments for, for Ukraine. Uh, so when I traveled to Ukraine in February in order to meet with the authorities that are mandated to, ver to ensure uh, that the elections go uh, in, in, in a democratic manner and that are free from foreign interference in order to verify the state of readiness uh, to withstand uh, various forms of either cyber attacks or the forms of uh, or attempts in order to discredit or to disrupt the electoral process. Our mission is also different in that 
uh, the mission is primarily composed of Ukrainian speaking observers. Uh, our mission is different from other uh, missions in that our observers are uh, uh, very well informed about the situation in Ukraine. They follow the situation uh, in Ukraine, not only when uh, they are selected to be observers, but uh, throughout the year. Uh, our uh, mission is different in that most of our volunteers uh, will be going to Ukraine at their own cost. They are paying their cost to travel, their cost to stay. Uh, so that is a substantial commitment of individuals who are concerned with the situation in Ukraine. Our mission will also be different in that we will be observing the electoral process on election day, not only in Ukraine, but in over 20 countries in the world in the diplomatic missions where Ukrainians will be voting. So those are some of the uh, uh, features uh, to which you were alluding to uh, that makes us uh, uh, a bit different from, from, from other uh, election uh, observation missions. Well, it sounds all very, very interesting. I can't wait to speak to you again later once the first round has been uh, um, accomplished and see uh, what are the results of your observations and what are the results of that round because it's very intriguing what's going on in Ukraine right now and so I will speak to you then. Then it's going to be a pleasure to speak to you. Uh, we are issuing uh, one week prior to the election, the uh, first round on March 31st, one week prior to, to the election day, our uh, interim report. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will send you a copy for you to, to familiarize yourself with our preliminary observations. We will then be issuing uh, preliminary observations the day after the election and then a few weeks after a final report. And as you know, we will be monitoring the elections on March 31st. And if there is a second round, uh, then we will be monitoring, sending our observers on April 21. And our mission will also be monitoring the parliamentary elections on October 27. So hopefully we will be uh, having uh, several interviews. Oh, I think uh, where so. <laughs> I will be able to uh, inform your uh, 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 people on, as to the, the, uh, the work of the mission and the uh, uh, observations uh, that our observers make. Great, thank you. Until then. Thank you. I'm Tanya Stech, and this was Ukraine in the News. Canal Oden Plus Oden, the part of the Stockholm Nobel International Program.